Hi guys, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at me um, uh, home Apollo generator I made. This is like a um, end machine. What's his name? Paul, someone or other. Did an end machine. Um, and yeah, so I've got it going. It's running on a little home Apollo motor up the top there, or one orientation motor. And um, yeah, I, I came up with this design to take the charge off statically, but it just didn't work. I'm going to have to go to this sort of thing, which is a magnet um, in a uh, on a wheel, and the terminal will be the centre rod. This centre shaft will become the terminal, and we get some brushes going on that to take the power off. But my estimates, it's really only going to be 100 millivolts. What you do with 100 millivolts is anyone's guess, but anyway. Um, yeah, so here it is, and I'll give you a quick look at the voltmeter, if I can hold these wires right. Um, hold these wires right, and it should be about 30 millivolts. 30 millivolts, and there's the... Um, you can see a definite line there, if I take it off the line disappears, there's the line, so there's definitely a, a DC voltage at 30 millivolts, and there's a heaps of noise, what you could get out, of, if you could get a um, flyback or something, kickback in, in a transformer out of that noise, it would be interesting to see if it's current in it, but anyway, um, yeah, so it's not too bad, it's, um, it's running at about 14, 15 watts, cost to run it, so that's pretty good. I'm thinking about taking the voltage up, and even at, at it's doing about 800 odd RPM now. Um, if I took the voltage up to 60 odd volts, 50 volts or something, 48 volts, um, should be able to get three or four thousand RPM out of it, and it'd draw, uh, you know, three or four times that. So for 50 watts, this would be running at. Um, 50 watts it'll be running at 3,000 3, RPM and put out 120 millivolts. You know, it's still not a lot of power, but anyway, that's the way it goes. Um, it's an interesting thing. It all floats on magnetism. Um, and if it had the wheels all around it, that it, it, all, it still, still floats everywhere. It doesn't, there's no force on it to go anywhere. So it's just like a spinning top. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I'm going to revisit this one. This is another one that I did a while ago, and it is a, um, it's a bit different. I'll, uh, I should give you a quick look at it. So I've just pinched the battery off this guy. He'll wind down, he's winding down. And I'm going to put it on this one. Oh, mine went the wrong way. There it goes. So this one's really interesting. It wants to run. It really loves it. Um, you know, it's running again. It's running at about um, there. It's running at you know, not quite 15 watts or something. Not quite 14 watts. Um, and if I dead short, here's the power out. I might have been a bit overzealous in the way I was trying to take the power off this thing. Um, which is what might have caused it to fail. If I hadn't of um, been so greedy. So here it is under load. I'm going to put it under a load. So it really slows it down. So yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It does put out. Um... And I might have just been a bit overzealous the way I tried to take the power off. I think if I didn't take the power off, you know, that way I might have been, yeah. So anyway, I'll look at, I'm going to re-look at this one. I think this one's still got potential. I just had to have time to have a think about it. Because it just wants to run. Just loves it. All right, no worries. Yeah, this guy's still winding down.
And the best thing about this one is I made this, these, these are me coils, I can wind them, they just slide in, it's just like a cassette deck. They slide in and slide out. So the whole thing can be mounted on one shaft, put in place, and then your coils can go in, you could have a series of them, stack them right up, it wouldn't matter. Right there.